Kimberly, are you ready? I can stand here forever, you know. Somebody's got to say a line. Here's a diagram of the cooler air conditioner. You can see over here on the left side, this is the main body of the cooler, the lower cooler, the one that's filled up with bottles of frozen water. And here is a insert that goes above the frozen water. That each one has a no this one has a notch in it. This one has a hole in it. The notch side goes to the back and the exhaust hole goes in the front as you can see over here in this diagram this is the finished product as it is assembled here is the upper cooler with the exhaust hole in it here is the spacer with the exhaust hole cut through that and here is the lower cooler with the exhaust cut through that This is another spacer to add airspace, or dead airspace actually, between this spacer and the exhaust port here. So, you have your fan mounted on the top, right up here, right up there. You have the fan blowing down. It goes through this exhaust hole, carries its way all the way across here, which stabilizes the airflow. The airflow then goes down through this port right here, and the air circulates around and around and around, and through the 15 or so frozen bottles of water that you have until it comes out, and when it comes out, the side, it is at 40 degrees. What you can do is you can put a precharger here in the top cooler and that's what I do that's how I get the ice to last for eight hours I put a couple of bottles two three maybe four bottles of ice water or one of the quart bottles of ice water in here and this pre cools the air before it hits the main unit down here the other thing that you can do is when you have your fan mounted in the top like that you can also 
put a bottle of frozen water on top of the fan, which will have a tendency to pre-cool the room air before it gets down to the main body of the air conditioner. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here is how you assemble the cooler air conditioner Gen 4.5. This is the lower main body of the air conditioner. You can see I have it lined with a plastic garbage bag on the inside because as the bottles of frozen water like this start to thaw, they get condensation on them and the water collects in the bottom. Then the next time you use the cooler air conditioner, you will have some ice water inside of there from the bottles of water cooling down the water that's left on the inside. And of course you can see I have it in a plastic tub right here just in case it leaks through. We're trying to make this as leak proof as possible. So you have your bottom part of your air conditioner right here. This is the main body. This is the charger unit. You have 15 to 20 bottles of ice water. Usually you lay them on their side like this across there and just stack them up but for demonstration purposes I have that one set in there like that. Now, very important, make sure that that styrofoam is an inch thick. If you can't find a cooler with styrofoam that's this thick, get several coolers and stack them together to make this thickness. These are Omaha Steak coolers. They make and send very, very thick ones. If you go online, you might be able to find their supplier to buy some. At any rate, this is the main diverter unit right here. You can see I have a notch cut in this that is the exact same size as this hole down here, which is 50% of the amount of air that our 12-volt fan will put out. This is a cool, a Q cool 12-volt 10-inch fan. You can find them all over the internet. They still sell these. So you take your charger, your diverter, put it in here like this. I take a towel and put it around the edges to make sure it's a good tight seal. So the air comes out of the fan, goes down through here, circulates around on the inside of the main cooler, and then comes out the exhaust hole at 40 degrees. The next step in the assembly is to place this spacer on the top of the cooler which is nothing more than a lid for the cooler cut out with a razor blade box knife all the way around it and you can see this is what's left of the top of the cooler. So thus far we have only used one cooler. Now I have another Omaha Steak cooler right here. I use this for uh, practicing archery, hence the extra holes in it. Now you can see at the bottom of this one I have another notch cut hole cut into this one that is the exact same size as this hole and the exact same size as this hole. So we have three holes to direct and circulate the air. This hole and this one goes on this side over here. So you have a hole in the front, a hole in the back, another hole in the front. The air goes down through here, circulates this way, circulates around in here while it's doing it, goes down in there, circulates in the bottom part, and then comes out. In this upper cooler right here, I frequently put a quart bottle of water or several of the smaller bottles in here. You can usually fit about three in there. And then the lid goes on the top like this for this cooler. And then the fan, the 12 volt fan, fits into the top. Now, one key element of this to increase the efficiency as high as possible is because these exhaust ports and the circulation holes in the inside because they allow 50% of the airflow from this fan to come out the holes, 
much of the air from this fan goes down in here and comes shooting back up along the edges of the fan where there's no fan blade. So you've got air going in and air coming up. So what you can do is you can take another bottle of that frozen water and sit it on the top here. It's not dangerous because you can see this motor is totally isolated and it's only 12 volts. You can put another frozen bottle of water right there to pre-cool the air before it gets in here. When it's 90, 95 degrees out, I put a bottle of frozen water right there. Makes the ice last that eight hours. Now on top of this, because the air is going in, coming back out, what I am doing as well is um, I'm taking a roll of duct tape and putting it there. And then I take a, another plastic tub, a small one, and I put it across here like that. So the air goes down in there, comes shooting back out here, gets circulated around in there, and then goes back down. When you have your frozen bottle of water on the inside of this, that precharges the air even better. So when the room is, say, 80 degrees, you can cool it down much faster. The ice will last the eight hours and you have gained almost 40% more efficiency than the original cooler that had the fan mounted <clears throat> right here. So you've had this added, this deflector, the spacer, the cooler on the top, and then the fan on the top. And now you can see why this is uh, so much more efficient than the other designs are. This is, of course, generation 4.5. And in particular, at one point, when we came into the century set of the simplest possible transformation, Z goes to Z squared plus C. So Z times Z plus C. As we did it, uh, something quite extraordinary came up, which is that if you magnify a small piece of the mandible 